Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to extract or export Windows installed drivers in order to use it on another computer or to use it on the same computer after you format and reinstall Windows. The first step is to check your drivers are all installed and up to date. For this, I will right click on the start and then go to the device manager. As you see, all the drivers are installed on this computer. For exporting the driver, we use this sim export driver. Search for it, you will get a link for the Learning Microsoft website. It will give you the full syntax how to export the drivers. Here we have two examples, one for the offline and the other for online. The online means the running operating system, the system which you are working on it right now. So we use the first example to export the driver. We open PowerShell and we run it as administrator. It is very important to run it as administrator. So click run as administrator and then click yes. Inside the PowerShell windows, we write our syntax. We write export slash windows driver. You can use tab for autocomplete. Sometimes you need to press it twice in order to get the right syntax. Then write then space online and then the destination. For the destination, we have to specify where you want to save the files. I will choose it. I will choose drive D and I will create a folder on drive D and call it drivers. Back to our PowerShell windows, I will write the folder name on drive D which is called drivers and then press enter. This will start creating files and folders for the drivers which are installed on my computer. Let's check the folder and see what will happen in there. As you see, it started creating folders inside the drivers folder. These folders are for the drivers exported from my computer. I will give it some time until all the drivers will be exported successfully. I will pause the video and come back when all done. As we see, all the drivers have successfully exported to the folder drivers. Now I will format my computer and reinstall the windows on it and then reinstall the drivers all in one step. Now after formatting my computer and reinstalling the windows, let's check the drivers from the device manager. What are the drivers are missing? As you see, we have some drivers are missing and not installed by windows. Usually for installing a driver, we right click on that driver and then update driver and then choose from internet or from a computer and this is a wasting of time or time consuming procedure. Now for installing all the drivers all in one step, we need to have a small bat file which I will put the download link for the file in the description of this video. After you download the file, click on the file and a blue screen like this will come up. It has three options. The first one is to backing up all the drivers, which we already did. And the second one is to restore all the drivers from a folder. So for this, we will press two, and then we have to select the folder which we backed up our drivers inside it. As you see all the drivers there, click OK. Then press enter and it shows you if necessary your computer will automatically restart it several times. This is no problem. So press enter again. This will start adding or importing all the drivers to this computer automatically without needing to installing them one by one. As you see the drivers on the left side is updating and installing. I hope this video was useful for everybody. See you in my next video.